In this video, we're going to see how you can set up databases uh, for your server-side JavaScript apps. So uh, if you saw the overview, you remember we've got this very simple little app here. Uh, and at the back end, we've got a MySQL database. Now, I happen to have set this up in uh, an application craft cloud database. We'll be offering those in the console very shortly. If you want an application craft cloud database of your own, contact support at applicationcraft.com. By the end of 2012, we should have that fully automated in the console. Anyhow, you, other ways of creating that, you can go to products like zeround.com, that's with an X, E-R-O-U-N-D.com, or you can go to Amazon and sign up for an, uh, an RDS database, uh, or you can use your own. Uh, the key thing is you can just, just, as long as it can be accessible through an application craft connection, which I'll show you in a second, any database uh, of type Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, or MySQL is fine at the moment. So here you can see for our cloud demo, we've got a very simple database structure. We've got um, country and company name and ID. And to reference that, once I've got my database fully set up, I go to the console, and in the connection tabs here, you can see we've got, uh, here I've created a connection called ACDB Demo. And the connection properties just point to my database. And at the bottom, I can select the actual, there's the actual database within that database server. Um, so once you set up your database connection, then we can, if we just go back to the code and take a look at how that's referenced. So I'm going to go into code mode. And, and this particular function here, I'm not going to go into talk about the function as a whole. That comes in the next video. I just want to talk to you about how to reference the database. So you remember, we've just set up the connection uh, in the console. Now we are creating here a connection object equals SSJ. So that's our server-side JavaScript API on the server side, uh, as opposed to um, APP on the client. So SSJ get connection, and then you supply this connection ID. That connection ID is taken from, let me go back to the console, here. So you just copy and paste that into your code. Uh, there's also a function that lets you use the name. So back here, so that's it. And then once we've created it, you'll see that there are other functions which uh, use that connection object to actually access the database. More on that in the next video. So um, if you go to the user guide, all these uh, functions are properly documented. This is the database section, server-side API reference. Here you can see all the different database functions. You'll also see that we can do uh, make web service calls on the server side and so on. So just flick through the server-side API reference to familiarize yourself.